Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Maison African Motives are uh, still working uh, on all level mathematics uh, in this platform. We are going to focus on the question now, uh, which is uh, from one of the asked questions that uh, we are given there to factorize the first question, uh, then hence or otherwise solve the equation. Okay, these are most of the questions that we can actually obtain or hear from uh, question papers and revisions. So let's just quickly rush through the question and see what we are having there factorized. All right. We are given a uh, 4x squared minus 2 of x plus 9. So depending with the way that you are going to view the question, but this is actually a quadratic expression. And uh, we know that whenever you're working with a quadratic expression, what are you going to do? Just multiply the first term and last term, which is 4x squared and uh, 9. That's going to give us that 6x squared. So now you are going to determine two numbers that you're going to find that when you multiply them, they're going to give you that 6x squared, which is actually factors of that 6x squared. But when you add this, they must give you this middle term. All right. So which numbers are we talking about here? All right. We have got uh, minus 6x and minus 6x. Take note because the middle term is a negative here. So if I am to add these two terms, I'm going to obtain negative 12x. If I am to multiply these two terms, I'm going to obtain positive that 6x squared. So these are the two terms that I'm going to replace here. So this is going to be 4x squared. In the middle term, we replace with these two terms, which is a minus 6x minus 6x plus 9. So this is what we are having there. All right. Then uh, by grouping, because as you can see now, you have four terms. One, two, three, four. So you have to group into two and factor out what is common here for these two terms. What is common? All right. So we've got uh, x squared. Sorry, that's x squared there. So we've got uh, two here is common and x is also common. So that's going to give us 2x. And if we divide 4x squared, divide by 2x, this is going to give us 2x minus 6x divided by 2x is 6 and 2 which is minus 3 take note x and x can cancel so you're going to remain with a 2x minus 3 so the question that we have now is what are we going to factor out for these two terms so that we are going to have the same bracket as this one so definitely we have to factor out a negative so that we can obtain a positive x. So it will be minus 3. Say so that minus 6x divided by minus 3, take note minus and minus, that's a positive now. So you're going to obtain 2x plus and a minus, that's a minus. So 9 divided by 3, which is 3 like this. So as we can see, these two brackets are the same. So we are going to take out this common bracket out, we factor this bracket out, that's going to be 2x minus 3 like this, if we factor out this bracket. And what are we remaining with? We are remaining with 2x and minus 3, so this is going to give us 2x minus 3 like this. So as we can see, that's what we are having, or someone can write this as 2x minus 3 squared, okay, just like... Uh, 3 squared is the same as 3 times 3. So these two brackets are multiplying each other. So you can write it as a squared like that. So that is that was the question there. Then the question now is uh, hence or otherwise. So these are two things. Hence, it's a continuation from this part that you just obtained. Continue from there. Otherwise, you can use any other way that you need solve the equation so as you can see this part here from hence we are going to focus on hence in this case this is what we obtained so this here all right let me just put it this way so that we can understand each other i'm going to take out that equation 
4x squared minus 12x plus 9 is equal to 16 like this. So I'm going to use the hands part. So this part is this part that we just obtained here, which is a 2x minus 3 squared is equal to 16. So as we can see, that's your hands. So as you can see, uh, it's now a normal equation uh, where we are given uh, a bracket being squared like that. You There's no need for you to expand this bracket because the moment you expand, you are going back here. So it's from this stage, what can we do to remove this exponent of 2? We introduce the square root on both sides so that this can neutralize the square. So you're going to be left with uh, 2x minus 3 which is equal to the square root of 16 and we know that square root of any number is plus or minus so square root of 16 that's plus or minus 4 so what are we having from this concept guys what are we having or what can we do this simply means we've got two possible answers here 2x minus 3 which is equivalent there's a plus 4 or another one from the same 2x minus 3 but this time is going to be equivalent to a negative 4 like that so that means we are now back to linear equations uh, as you know guys linear equations you can actually separate this okay so let's just separate this is going to be 2x transpose that is collecting like terms uh, this is a negative so it is going to be a positive on the other hand which is 4 plus 3 that is 7 or this time this negative 3 transposed to this side is going to be a positive again okay just like this was a negative it's a positive again this one is a positive but there is a minus 4 in this case plus 3 so take note guys minus 4 plus 3 gives us negative one so this is going to be a negative one there so to find x definitely we are multiplying so you have to divide by two both sides the moment i divide by two i'm going to have x which is a uh, seven over two or that's going to give us three and a half in this case okay that's our seven over two or three and a half or this one you divide again by 2 by 2 both sides so in this case our x is going to be negative 1 over 2 so that is what we are having in this case as you can see guys that's part of factorization that was taking place but here they wanted you to apply the rational concept of solving a quadratic equations when you are using a continuation from this part yes. so if you are using the otherwise method then we are going to apply the longer way because you have to take this to this side then you factorize again you have to solve so but guys as you can see it was going to take us long out to solve the equation but in this case that was the simplest way that we could have done this question so that's it guys for me on african motives working on question papers and revisions for all level mathematics till we meet again.